What's going on everybody? Stock Jock here, up $6,753 on the day. I'd had a pretty darn good morning, but I completely screwed it up because I forgot to hit the record button and whatnot. And there's a few things that we're gonna do in this video. I have a probably about three or four minutes until uh, E-Trade wipes things clean for the night. It's about almost midnight right now where I'm at on the East Coast, so, um, e trade tends to just all oh, my orders for the day will just disappear here in just a little bit. So I'll go over my trades. I again didn't have a recording, so there's nothing to go off of, but I can definitely show you uh, what I was looking for here. Tesla out of the gates. This is a big pop here. Pullback, candle over candle that did not get to the high of the run, followed by another pullback, and then the W pattern. So this is typically what I call the ABCD pattern. Oops, ABCD pattern or a W. With the breakout being the horizontal in the middle of those two peaks. I don't know why that isn't horizontal. So right there. So I was inside of this candlestick right there. As I'm as we're coming back up and about to break this level, I go along with calls. I took 20 calls, got in at 2588, and I exited at 2731. Just as it is basically breaking this level, I'm looking to profit over that. It did continue up, but it doesn't matter. That's not my that's not my strategy to hold and hope and that it goes higher. Mine is a scalp. It played out perfectly. I made money on that. Uh, I'm just going to try to fly these through these until I get beat up here. Um, and, and trying to remember here as well. Again, it's really late and I'm just trying to... I have a message at the end of all this. So I want to do the review while I have these up. Uh, who knows how far I get. 9.49, let's just find it, 9.49. All right, so this was a high day here at uh, on uh, NCTY. Um, we had a nice little play here because it came up, hit high day, pull back, and then we had a candle over candle entry right inside this one. So I, I went long right there. Uh, I got what I wanted in this play, if I remember correctly. And I didn't, I didn't sell for some reason. I was saying this thing was going to go nuts. So did not on this candlestick. Uh, it kind of popped up, came back down real quick. As you can see, it did close higher, but the next candlestick did close off. So it kind of shook me out. I, I got a really nice jump, but it came right back down really quick. I know you're not going to be still able to do the live trade. I apologize, but that's kind of knows what happened. Uh, let's see this PSTG pure storage. I think this was a news place. I'm not really going to go over that. Uh, I made some money on that one. Let's go over to NIO, 10.01 a.m. Let's try to find it here. Okay, so I think this was a five-minute play, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so five-minute chart, pop, 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 pull back, pull back, candle over candle uh, is doing, is going on right here. So five-minute continuation. You kind of see that on this level here. You kind of have a... Uh, a rising support line and then you know I'm kind of just waiting you know it's a little mini wedge and that's kind of what I played the break out of um, it paid off I guess I got in at 52.92 I guess I didn't I got a terrible exit I think I remember that too I think I remember saying oh my gosh terrible exit sure enough I lost money on that one next trade though I, I nailed it 10.02 okay so this is when it was so I got I got shook out I see what it is Went long, um, didn't didn't break when I thought it would go immediately. The second candlestick is when it actually went. I got back in it, 53.04, I exited at 53.24. 20 cent win, 400 bucks. Got it, nice, okay. PSTG again, uh, this was a break even play. Where did I make my money? Oh, I sold NIO, that was a swing trade. That was going to be a swing trade, but the market decided to absolutely uh, puke all over itself today. So I said, you know what? If the market's going to do one of these, I'm out. Um, and I think that was the morning. I mean, I keep going, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I made BNGO trades, Zoom trades. It doesn't matter. It, let's, I forgot. To, I, it's not how I typically do videos. I apologize. And it looks like yeah, it's 1201 right now. And for some reason, this hasn't gone. So... Anyway, the, mil the real reason why I want to do a video today is, a and let's make, let's, make, let's make me bigger here, because I'm going to be the focus, not my freaking trades right now. Oh, 
or in a hat, apologize, it doesn't matter. This is how I look, okay? First off, this is how real traders look. They sit at their desk all day. They don't care what they look like. They're in their pajamas that they've been wearing for three freaking days. And they trade, and they make a living doing it. So I, I see this. I've been trading for going on 11 plus years now. So I'm on my 11th year, I believe. And that's training part-time, that's training full-time. That's the whole kit and caboodle. That's sucking in my early years all the way, all the way to where I am now. I've, I see this every year. And uh, at the, in the beginning of January, whatever it is, you have this influx of traders. People you've never seen before, and they dive straight into trading. I don't, you know, it could be people getting a Christmas bonus at work, or it could be mom and dad handing down money to the kids, or it could be inheritance, or it could be, you know, it, it doesn't matter how you got the money. I don't really care. Uh, good on you that you got it. What I do care about is I don't want you to just go diving headfirst in the market and losing your money because you will do it. You're going to do it. It will. It, it, I can't think of a person that I've seen over the years that just popped up out of nowhere, ready to trade on January, f whatever, what is it, 4th? And he wasn't gone in two months, three months. You're going to lose your money. This is, this is a game. This is a game where you will go broke if you don't know what you're doing. And if you don't take the time to learn, you're going to go broke. You're going to blow up your account. I tell everybody, if you start, if you want to do this, you've got to put in the time. It's just like anything else. You will not become a pro overnight. You have two ways to learn this. The easy way, the hard way. The hard way is to dive headfirst in using real money and hope that you learn how to do this before your real money loot runs out. That was me. That's how I learned. Not proud of it. Two years, my first two years of trading, I lost $45,000. It was absolutely horrible. Luckily, I had a job that paid well, and I was able to fund my account. It wasn't like I blew it all up. I didn't, you know, put all my money on one trade, and you know, over it was forty-five thousand over two years. It was bad. It was bad. Yeah, forty-five thousand. Yeah, forty-five thousand. It's a lot of money. And if I could do it all over again, at the time, people were saying, "SJ, you need to do a paper trade. You need 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 a paper trade." You need a paper trade. I didn't do it. And back then, you know, we didn't have all these cool tools where you actually open up a paper trading account and actually, act like, you know, play like a video game with the stock market. But that didn't exist. Paper trading was literally that. You got a pen and a paper and you're writing down your order entries. I mean, that was paper trading back then. All right. You guys have it so much easier now to learn how to, you need to take your time. You are our plankton in the ocean with whales and sharks and fish and freaking bacteria and viruses all trying in weather trying to kill you all right you are plankton you're minuscule and you will get gobbled up if you don't play it safe period the end i'm a i'm a successful trader now have have been for a while um Probably six or seven years. Six or seven of those years now. I've been I've been a profitable trader and I do it for a living now. Last year I made nine hundred one thousand dollars. Best year ever. My best year before that was twenty eighteen. Where I made one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. So I'm turning corners myself. This is not something that you're gonna grasp overnight. There's too much to learn. Take it slow. There's no rush. I know, the, I know the temptation. You get into these rooms and you see all these people making some big time money and you want a piece of that action. You say, if they can do it, I can do it. And you can do it. You absolutely can. You just have to put in the time and learn how to do it. You have to learn the lingo. You have to learn the patterns. You have to learn what happens when XYZ happens or when these candlesticks look like that or when this pattern is forming. You have to learn all this stuff. It's not rocket science. It's all about patience and discipline. If you take the time, you ask questions, you will learn this. You can learn this. I haven't met a person yet that I didn't think could be some sort of trader. Now, they might not be a good day trader, but they could be a swing trader. You know, they might not be a good swing trader, but they could be a good investor. Different skill sets for different kind of investment types. 
But the main thing I want to say is, please, if you're one of those that just got an influx of money, I don't care how you got it, doesn't matter, don't go using it right away. You will lose your lunch. Absolutely will lose your lunch. Open up account. Open up a paper trading account. Fool around with that. Fool around, fool around with it for at least a month or two. Ask questions along the way. What you're trying to do in that time is learn the basics, support and resistance lines. What are, the, what are moving averages? What are Bollinger Bands? What are, what is, what's the VWAP? What's patterns? What's candlesticks mean? What are oscillators? You're, you're learning all that. What's L2? What's time and sales? You know, you're learning all this stuff. And while you're learning it, you're trying to develop a strategy that fits your personality, right? For instance, and there we go. I just lost connection. There you go. See? Adrian just deletes everything. It's annoying. Anyway, what I mean by that is I mean not everybody can be a day trader. They don't have the stomach for it. It moves too fast for them. Okay? So be a swing trader or, pl or play things that are a little slower, higher time frames, right? 15-minute charts, 30-minute charts, 4-hour charts, you know, whatever. Be a swing trader. If you're comfortable with holding positions overnight, looking for the macro move, right? Playing moving averages and stuff like that. Support and resistance on the daily chart. Maybe a swing trader is what you need to be. Find the style of trading that fits you. For me, I'm personally, I do swing trade, but I'm a, I don't consider myself a good swing trader. I'm horrible at it. Every time I, I'm barely green, I want to sell immediately. Even though I've set myself up for a nice play, it should play out. I should give it legs to run. As soon as I'm green, I want to sell immediately and take that because that's a scalper me. I do best in the one minute and five minute charts. I want to get in and out, in and out. I also have a hard time sleeping at night knowing I have a lot of money in positions, in some stock, some company. Then I could wake up the next day and poof, it's all gone because of, well, not all gone, but you know what I mean, cut in half or something like that because of some speed bump in the way that I didn't know was going to happen. Some black swan event maybe or an offering or whatever. And I've been bit too many times like that. So I'm a bad swing trader. I, I couldn't sleep. I don't sleep very well. I don't. So you need to find out what kind of trader you are. And then from there, you've got to develop your strategy from that. For me, you'll hear, if you watch my videos, you talk about, you'll hear me talk about pop, pull back, candle over candle. I talk about it all the time. It's one of my main strategies. I, it was the strategy that I learned when I was turning the quarter and had, corner and having my light bulb moment as a trader. Like, aha, and it was profitable ever since. Pop, pull back, candle over candle. And from there, I expanded on that. What creates the pop? Right? How do I find the pop? Well, maybe it's these patterns. Price consolidation, it's the price expansion. Right? And, it, and over the years, develop that. All right? how do, if, that, if those patterns create the pop, how do I predict which way the pattern will break? Okay, well, let me look at my oscillators. Let me look at the candlesticks. Is there any hints going on there that will tell me which way the pattern will break? To give me the pop so I can play the pop, pull that candle over candle. All those things. The strategy evolved from there. But you need to come up with a strategy. And from there, you need to work it on paper with paper trading. And after you're successful for a while, paper trading, then, and only then, and I mean successful as in good win ratio, uh, on paper, you're more profitable than losers. I don't mean that you have more winners than losers. You're just more profitable. So you learn how to st stop out if things don't, don't uh, go to plan. Your discipline. It's discipline, discipline, discipline. From there, uh, you have to learn how to, to trade with real money. When I say you dip your toe in the shallow end, I'm talking pinky toe in the shallow end. I mean pinky toe in the shallow end. I mean, you're going long with 50 shares. That's it. You know, if it goes up 10 cents, you're up 5 bucks. If it goes down 10 cents, you're down 5 bucks. And if that's too much, you go with 10, 10 shares or one share. It doesn't matter. There's free commissions. Now, back in my day, it was still, what, $3.99, $4.99 to make a trade. So even while I was learning, it cost me money. Even if I was wrong, it cost me money. All right, it cost me money. You have free commissions. You can learn this for free. That's the easy way. Paper trade. Don't do it the hard way. Don't do it the way I did. You will lose your money, I promise.
I promise. And that's all I got. I'm SJ. We have a free Twitch channel. 100% free. I invite you to it. If you're a new trader with gobs of money that you got, you just kind of landed into starting off the new year. I don't care, again, how you got it. Come hang out. We got a lot of new traders in our room. We got a lot of experienced traders in our room. And it works perfectly. The new traders watch the experienced traders how to, how to and, and they watch how they trade and they pick up things that they do. So, uh, things I do might relate in fit personality types of, you know, new trader A over here, but new trader B over here is like, whoa, that's way too fast for me. I don't like that, but I like the way that Nick or Sam or the other people in our chat, uh, chat room trade, maybe, I, maybe they mimic their styles and go from there. So watch, learn, ask questions, send me DMs, send me your charts, send me your entry and exits. I'll go over them. It's completely free. The reason why we started this channel, uh, and it started years ago with Discord, it was a Discord channel first, and this is our second year on Twitch, is because when I started out, I craved something like this. Twitch didn't exist back then. It, literally, the only way you could have a community was signing up for you know, those paid services that you see everywhere. This is free. This is a free way to learn. And it's kind of my way of giving back to the community and helping people out. I want more people to become part of the 1%. This is the first year of my life I've been part of the 1%. And it kind of sucks because the taxes are out the wazoo. But I want more people to become 1%ers. I do. That's my goal. To change people's financial family trees. So it's free. Come on in. Have some fun. Learn. If you're an experienced trader, we're always looking to add more to that family as well. We've got a lot of traders in our, our room that day trade, throwing out ideas. It's impossible to watch the entire market. So having more eyes on different things is always good. We've got people on Discord. We've got people on Twitch calling things out. It's a great community. I invite you all. The links for those are down in the description below. I'll put the, twi the Twitch channel where you can see me trade live every day from 930 to 4 o'clock. Uh, and then also the Discord, which I have running simultaneously throughout the day. So that's it. Everybody have a good 2021. Oh, and the other thing I want to point out. I'll do. I'll save that. I'll save that. Uh, it might be tomorrow's video. It's going to be talking about goals. So we'll hit that tomorrow. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video.